Okay, everyone. So I just want to explain this life processes brochure with you real quick. So I have posted a bunch of uh, add-ons that you can look at for different reasons. And I'll go over those in just a minute. Um, basically, what you're trying to create is a trifold brochure. So if you've ever gone to a hotel or you've gone to some kind of um, uh, a tourist attraction, there's oftentimes these little brochures. They look kind of like this. And, you know, there's writing on the front. There's writing on the back. They're sitting in little holders, and they're there to draw your attention and basically get you to pick them up and read them and hopefully go to different tourist attractions in the area. Okay, so... Today we're gonna to make one about the characteristics and needs of living things. So the premise is that some aliens came to the planet, they just discovered the aliens, and you're going to create a brochure that explains all of the key highlights of the characteristics and needs of living things. So the front of it should have a nice title, okay? Should have your name, title, date, all of that in this format, okay? And then when, as soon as you open this part here is called the inside flap, okay? And then when you open it again, you have the three kind of examples there, okay? And this isn't one of them, but just to give you the idea of the three, um, the three panels, so to speak. And then when you open the back side, you get the three other examples there. So here's the back of the brochure. Um, this is the inside cover again. And this is the whole brochure opened up. So one more time just to see that, okay? This is the brochure. You've got front cover. You've got back cover. Then you've got inside flap. And then when you open it, it will have information, more information about that place, or in this case, about the characteristics and needs of living things, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at here at some of the documents. All right, here's the direction page. And the direction page, again, uh, will lay out for you, not just give you the, the premise, what I just explained to you about the aliens, so read that, but up top here, we'll have the four basic, six basic characteristics and four basic needs. So that means you'll be talking about 10 different things in your brochure. So all organisms have, and talking about have, those are their characteristics, right? Cellular organization, synthesis and breakdown, chemicals and complex chemical reactions, like digestion and excretion. Use energy, like in respiration. Respond to external and internal stimuli, okay? Grow and develop is five, and reproducing is six. Okay, so those are your characteristics with a couple of examples mixed in there. And then living organisms also need, okay? And when we talk about need, they need water, one, food, two, living space, three, and four, they must maintain stable internal conditions. So those are the 10 things you need to write about in your brochure, okay? And let's take a look at a couple of the other documents. There's a rubric there which will explain how you are going to be graded. The rubric is also embedded, if you look here, embedded within your directions. Here is an example. This PDF is an example that I did for you, okay? So you can see there's that title page, there's that back page, and there's the inside flap. Okay, you notice that brochures are colorful, they're attractive, they have a lot of pictures and visuals. And then when you opened up, notice that there are two pages here, right? One page, those are those outside sections I talked about. Again, front page, back page, and inside flap. And then when you open all three, you get the inside. So just again to show you front page, back page, right? When you open uh, this, you get the inside flap. And then when you open the whole document, you get this whole inside information, this second page, all right, right here. And that's exactly what I'm seeing here. Here's that second page, all right? So you can decide on how to artistically go ahead and create yours. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be exactly like mine. You don't have to write this. Here's one thing you can't live without. I put that there. I thought that that was kind of a cool thing to put on a back cover that if someone – you know, looked at the front uh, front title page and then turned it over. They'd be like, wow, one thing you can't live without. I better read on and open this up, right? This is what we call marketing when you're trying to make things appealing to people to be able to buy your product or go to your place. You have to make it attractive, okay? So, again, the second page is information. 
there are three panels. This is a tri-fold. Tri means three. Fold means it gets folded up like this. And this is a brochure information, right? So uh, basically six panels of information. One, two, three. And then when you open the whole thing up, you're going to get four, five, and six. Okay? So let's take a look at a few other things to show you. Um, so there are two templates I provided for you. One is a Google Docs template. And as usual in the templates, I gave you information that you should be erasing when you're done. Um, I gave you spots to just basically, if you weren't sure how to organize your brochure in any kind of a way, you wouldn't have to be stuck, right? So I gave you a template. You could put your name here. You could put your period. You could put life science. You could put the date, right? Get rid of the word date and put the actual date. You can change the title. You can put a picture there. Certainly this front column, back column, or back cover, these things are just to give you a reference point, but these should be taken out when you give me a completed document. My inside cover, I decided that I would just list the things, uh, the characteristics in need, but you don't necessarily have to do that. You can change it up and do it how you want. But the list was here, six characteristics with a picture, four needs with a picture, and then all of my information I chose to put on the back page. You certainly should not leave any of this writing or any of these pictures. This was just to show you layout, how it might look when it was complete. But notice this isn't even English. This is Latin. These organisms have nothing to do with this assignment. They're just placeholders to give you a visual of what it should look like. So rather than me just give you a blank document to start with and you being lost, I thought I would give you something with placeholders to show you where you could kind of put a picture in and how you might put the other pieces of information. So that's up to you. I also did provide you with a Google slide template. I have not used this one before. Uh, notice there are you know, three panels here and three panels there for a total of six columns of information. Um, I have not used this one before, but one thing I that this may be better is that um, in the other, in the Google document, Sometimes what happens is when students are putting information in, they end up with uh, more than two pages and they don't know how to delete the information and get it back. So what happens is at the end of this document here, uh, information starts going on 